Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. For today's video guys, I'm going to be using these beautiful Born Pretty uh, gel polishes and also I will be using these leaves that you guys see on the left side and also the pink glitter, this beautiful pink glitter. I will be using this as well and of course uh, I have my rhinestones to my right side that I will be using them as well. So to start with, I'm only going to use three gel polishes from Born Pretty. These are the colors. They sent me uh, six bottles. It was the collection from the um, Strawberry Party Gel series, which the colors are a little bit transparent. Uh, so what we are doing today, it's pretty much doing clear nails, like crystal nails. So I'm going to start by placing a base coat. Very important to place a base coat because this is one of what is going to keep your gel polish longer on your nail. Also, it will prevent any chipping and long lasting as well. So once I'm done, I cure in lamp for 60 seconds. And these are the petals that I'm going to use. These, honestly, I was thinking they were like really dry flowers, like dry petals, but they're not. They are, I would say, kind of like synthetic uh, plastic. So some of them, uh, is, they're bent and they're hard to be flat on the nail because they've been bent for a while in their package. So what I'm doing is removing them from the container. They look so real. I, I don't know. I don't even know if they're synthetic or not. But that thing that is uh, under the petal, it is kind of like a plastic feeling. So I'm not sure if they are real flowers or not. I mean, real petals or not. But what I'm doing is only removing the ones that I'm going to be using. Uh, you guys can see the package comes with beautiful color, uh, different colors of petals. And the next thing, I'm using the gel polish from Born Pretty, the ones that I'm going to use. And I'm putting a little bit of each of them on my art plate because I want to grab from there in order to place the glitter. So this is the first color. Look how pretty, guys. It is very transparent. It reminds me of the jelly nails because of how um, transparent it looks. So the trick with this is that we're going to do everything with the gel polish. So while the gel polish is wet, we're going to place the petal. I can do some pressure with my tweezers. That way the petal will, will uh, stay flat on the nail. And I will go ahead and grab my brush and I will put my brush first on the gel polish that I have on my nail art plate right here. Grab a little bit of this glitter and I will put the glitter in the parts where the petals are not touching. Just a little bit. I don't want too much because I don't want the whole nail to be like really really heavy on stuff so I'm only placing the the glitter in the areas where the petals don't cover but I'm not putting too much if you can use like a fine glitter to do this is even better I don't like the chunky glitters in this type of nail design so I try to put as as less as I can and grab more of that fine pink glitter. But it's still looking beautiful. My thing is that I don't want the big glitter near the petals, okay? I just want them in the gel polish, the areas where the petals are not. So I'm going to repeat the same process in this nail as well and then on the middle finger I'm not gonna put any glitter because I'm gonna put a uh, rhinestone so I'm gonna continue placing the petals
And if you see that the petals are a little bit lifting, use your flash cutting light and it will keep them in place. So this is how they look, how pretty they look. I will finish my pinky nail with the same thing, but I didn't put any glitter on that one. So on the big finger, I don't have any glitter. On the middle finger, I don't have any glitter. And on the tiny uh, nail, I don't have any finger. So, of course, with this type of decoration, we need to encapsulate because obviously we have the bumps from the petals, we have the glitter, so we need to protect everything in order to file. So, for today's video, I'm going to try this product here. It is a, a gel and it's going to do the encapsulation process pretty much. It's going to cover everything. And I love this gel because it, sell, it sells level. So... It makes my time easier, it makes my job easier. And that's why I love the gels that they can self-label because it's amazing, you know. Um, it, it, it leaves the, the nail very clear, especially when you have decoration like this, like dry flowers or nature, anything like flowers and things like that. It will leave that nail tip so clear and beautiful to... Um, to look all the details on it so once i'm done i'm going to cure this in the lamp for 60 seconds and of course i want to wipe out the stickiness i'm going to file reshape dust and clean and this is how it looks and you guys can see that after all that filing reshape and everything the nail tip is still looking clear and beautiful and it's because of that gel that I used. Um, so now I'm going to select the rhinestones that I want to do. I don't want to do nothing crazy to be honest, just small, tiny, beautiful rhinestones like these ones. So I'm going to put a little bit of gel glue, which is for rhinestones in the cuticle area. And then I'm going to do the same thing in the pinky nail. And then on my big finger, I'm just going to put them on this side. So once I'm done guys, all I have left to do is put uh, my top coat, it could be any top coat. So I will go ahead and put my top coat in all of my nails and also cure after that. I cure for 60 seconds and this will end the look for today guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also I will put on the description box uh, the links for Born Pretty. They also were so kind to provide a discount code for you guys if you want to buy a born pretty you can go into the the website i will link all of that in the description box so you guys can check it out don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss new videos i have tons of video coming up i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe and share and i will see you guys on my next video bye